GB time lapse lens calibration is an advanced topic. Understanding this procedure is necessary only if you are a super user intent on getting near perfect bulb ramping results. It is not necessary in normal GB time lapse usage. GB time lapse auto ramp method uses precision bulb times to maintain a constant exposure value. When the lens aperture needs to be changed, auto ramp must calculate a new bulb exposure time based on the change in aperture. For example, if the aperture changes by one third of an f-stop, the bulb exposure time must be changed accordingly. Unfortunately, lens f-stop numbers are not exact. The f-numbers of a lens are approximately one third stop apart, but they are not exact. The actual f-stop spacing may be significantly different than the mathematical f-number values. This can lead to a perceptible change in brightness between images when an aperture value is changed during auto ramp. To overcome this problem, you can calibrate a lens and determine its exact f-stop values. Here's how you do it. First, you must have GB Time Lapse Super User features enabled. This prevents casual users from accidentally getting into the calibration mode. This procedure can take up to an hour, and the exposure must be constant over the entire time or the results will be invalid. So you must have a constant light source. Here I have a camera pointed at the clock on the wall with an artificial light source. I have the bulb time set to one second and the aperture to its widest point. Make a test exposure like I just did. If the histogram isn't centered, adjust the lighting and make another test exposure. Here you can see the histogram is pretty well balanced and there's no clipping. Note the luminance value, 187.6, and enter it as the auto ramp target luminance. Make sure auto ramp is checked and all the other auto ramp settings are unchecked. Increase the max TV range to 40 seconds. It must be greater than 32 in order to get an exposure at f-stop of f32. Now go to the project settings and select the auto ramp tab. If you are a super user, the lens calibration group will be enabled. Click the reset button to fill the script with a series of f-stops. These come from the camera lens. Note the, the numbers in the f-stop range. Since I rarely use large f numbers, I'll only use the range up to f32. So I'll just delete this last one. Make sure the number of f-stop steps is 20 and check the box Follow F-Stop Script. Click OK. Go to the Time Lapse tab and click Program Begin. Now Auto Ramp will follow a script going through with a sequence of F-Stops taking 20 exposures at each value. Auto Ramp will adjust the bulb exposure time at each F-Stop to maintain the target luminance that you've specified. After the program ends, GB Time Lapse will use the bulb times to calculate the actual f-stop values of the lens. The bulb time we started with will double whenever the aperture decreases by one f-stop. When it reaches f16, the bulb time will be approximately 8 seconds, and at f32 it will be 32 seconds. You can see that this is going to take a long time. I'll let this run for a while and come back and check on it after lunch. It's been a little over an hour and it looks like it's finished the uh, program. If I look at the history, you can see the luminance, the target luminance of about 187 is maintained, although at these high F numbers there is some variation in value. Whenever the F stop changed, here's a change in, in aperture, the bulb time changed and then settled down to a constant value. Here it changed again and settled down change again and settle down. So you can see that these f-stops are pretty accurate but these other these higher ones aren't because the initial adjustment was incorrect. So GB time-lapse will use these the latter part of each of these sections to determine the actual f-stop for these aperture values. If I click the session log tab I can scroll down and see the calibration test results. Here are the values. I'll select them, being careful not to select any extra characters, and copy, and then go back to the project settings, auto ramp, 
and correction table and paste them in. Now I can save the table with the name of the lands. Now I can use that saved file in any other project I'd like. I'll just by loading it in and then checking this box to use the lens f-stop correction. So that's the calibration procedure. It's a little complicated, but uh, it can give you a much better result when doing auto ramp.